In today's video, I am going to teach you how to install Android Studio on Windows 10. So stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Learn with Tam. I am Tariq Ali Mirza and my goal is to make you a kick-ass Android developer. To start this journey, we must first install Android Studio on our system. So let's get to it. Step 1. Downloading the Android Studio setup file. Open your preferred browser. I'll open Google Chrome. Now type the URL developer.android.com slash studio and press enter. You can find the URL link in the description. Now click on the green button that says download Android Studio. Accept the terms and conditions to enable the download button. Now click on the blue button to download Android Studio for Windows. Now wait for the download to finish. Step 2. Installing Android Studio. Once the file has finished downloading, click on it to start the setup. Click Yes on User Account Control dialog box. Now you can close your browser and proceed with the guided setup. Click Next to proceed. Make sure that you have Android Virtual Device selected and click Next. Leave the directory settings to default and click Next. Leave these settings to default and click Install. Once the installation is complete, click on Next. Make sure that Start Android Studio is selected and click on Finish. Step 3. Configuring Android Studio. Select Do not import settings and click on OK. You may choose to send user statistics to Google. I'll click on Don't Send. Here you can see the first page of Android Studio setup wizard. Click on Next to proceed. You can choose Standard or Custom. I will take you through the custom installation process. Now click on Next. Leave the JDK installation folder to default and click Next again. I'll select Dracula theme and click Next. Make sure that you have all these options selected and click on Next. I am using an AMD processor, so I see this additional step. If you see this too, just click on Next. Now finalize all the settings and click on Finish. Wait for Android Studio Setup Wizard to download and install all the components required. Android Studio Setup Wizard has now downloaded and installed all the required components. As you can see, it has also created a virtual device for us, which we will very conveniently use to run our first application. Now you can click on Finish. That's it. You have Android Studio installed and configured on your system. That's it for now. If you liked today's video, smash that like button. And if you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button too. Also, click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications for all the future uploads. I'll see you in the next one.